Ikea. That was the perfect intro. Yes, you guessed right. <laughs> we are on our way to Ikea. We're, we're going back because every time we've gone, the light that we want to get above our kitchen table has been sold out. Today is their delivery day and my organized husband had it set on his alarm to go because he talked to somebody there about when the new shipment would be there. So we are on our way. Our big girls have a half day at school, so of course it's rush, rush, rush. I showed you the updated plan. Now this even is out of date because we changed our mind about this. Uh, but I think that that's, I think that that's the only thing really. So this is the updated plan. Okay. Okay. Yes, babe. Ikea. It took us two days to completely paint the living room, move everything out, paint the living room, clean the floors uh, completely while everything was out, and uh, to put all of the furniture that we got. Because when you buy furniture at Ikea, everything is in uh, pieces, like a million pieces. <laughs> you have to completely put it together. That's been an interesting process. I mean, I made a drawer for the first time. Um, drawers, I should say. The only thing that I really needed help with from my husband was adjusting the door hinges. They need to, in order for them to be like perfectly level, they need to really be in very tight. So he, you know, tightened those up for me and adjusted those for me. But other than that, I mean, I put it all together. Time I wanted to put all of the furniture together. For one thing, he painted the living room, so we were kind of doing, you know, we were working at the same time, which worked. Well. I put the furniture together, and quite honestly, fantastic job. <laughs> thank you. And I wanted to because I've never done that before, and I like really detailed stuff like that. And I'm like really tedious and really like very detail oriented with directions and it's funny because my husband and I are so different in that way. Though he's very organized and very detail oriented, still he um he'll get in and just like want to put it together and like not look at the directions and all of a sudden, you know, I'm like, "Wait a minute, wait a minute. No, this goes this way." and all of that because I've read the directions like so thoroughly. So that's kind of funny. Is it We're going back to Ikea, getting this lamp, and we'll see what else we get. And then later on, I will show you when we get back to the house what the room looks like so far. Because I have not, the last that you've seen of the room was it empty. All I had done was the, um, the rug underlay. So, see you soon. One other thing that I learned to add is that you want to go into Ikea as a full-on tourist. Ladies, your shoulders will get sore. Use your crossbody. Is there any advice for men? Do, do, should they put their orthopedic inserts into Don't their go. shoes? <laughs> Don't go. Yeah. Should I get the flags again? Is it like routine? Oh, it's not very windy today. For continuity's sake. The flags. This is the new, it's a new light. I guess they've had it in the smaller version. Close it all the way and show. And then this is the larger one. Okay. Open it. We like the one with the copper color inside. We have a dimmable light above. I mean, it's hooked up that way, so we have to get this bulb. These LEDs, which are dimmable, so it's a equivalent to 40 watt, and um, it is dimmable. Globe opal, it says. So, and they're four dollars. Okay, looking for the hallway. This is two foot seven inches by four foot eleven inches. And it's fluffy and it's like white and gray. It's, it's pretty. And $40. Chicken Florentine.
He recommended it. You're not a big fry girl, are you? She's not into potatoes, but she's into marzipan. Yep, hurry up. What do you think about the apple pie? It's okay. This is delicious. Coffee? No, coffee. Coffee? Mm-hmm. Green some coffee. Yeah. For where, though? Yeah, that would. We're just leaving Ikea. It actually turns out it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Blue skies. We got today... I think more than we were expecting, but... This is how it kind of works. They'll print out um, a picking list for you, and you go through and you, you know, find the aisle and the bin, and then find these items, and then you know how many, you know, you need of each. Or we got the light to go above the kitchen table, finally. My husband was right. The delivery came today, and that was good, because we got the copper one. Got some orchids. I took the orchid from the girls' tiki room, and I actually put their Himalayan salt lamp up there. I'll show you. I need to do a, a update on their room because we've changed a few things. And but I'm gonna wait to do that because we actually have a couple of things to frame and put up. So that will be coming, but when it's like complete, complete. Because I think we have pretty much all the components together. Anyway, I got them uh, some orchids to replace the the ones that I took and I also got some orchids to go on our entry table since we have one on our um, end table. I did get, we have the light that's above the kitchen table is white and we really don't actually have a whole lot of white in the kitchen. We do have copper though. So I got a white bowl <laughs> to put on the table. I'm thinking it'll make it feel like it belongs. Anyway, we are on our way and we have more furniture to put together. Yay! <laughs> Okay, this is how much we have in here. I stopped at Bed Bath & Beyond and got a frame. That's actually not from Ikea because uh, they have a new tiki room print. It's really, really cool. Um, it's a limited, I think, and I'll show you that. But we got these orb lamps. She is not patient. That. Hey, chill out. This couple more of these and I this is what I was talking about that bowl for the table so full load okay this is the print that we got from uh, Disney and it is oh there it is yeah. cool um it's actually like so much more like so much more like beautiful and vivid than I even thought it was going to be. And the really cool part is like this matting. Doesn't that look just like the wallpaper? I mean, not the wallpaper, the wrapping paper that I used is the matting cloth napkins that I framed. So that's pretty cool. But it's a really odd size. So it was hard to find a frame that would fit it. Was this a limited edition? Yes, I think. Thing? Okay. Oh, Jeremy Fulton. And let's see. That's the information about it. Anyway, so I got this frame. So I got this frame from Bed Bath and Beyond, and it has, you know, like the clear glass. So this is normally $34.99. My husband had the 20% off coupon. By Real Simple and Okay, and so also here is before, because we're going to, we bought, as you saw, more furniture today. There's that tiki uh, thing I was just showing you. But this is how we have it set up right now. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen this. I actually stole that out of the girls' tiki room. That's why I bought some to replace it, but doesn't it look perfect? 
It's just perfect there. So we have this, and then we have the media council together. So, and we also have a piece to add there, and it's actually going to go around and above, but we're doing this, you know, bit by bit. For one thing, we can't fit it all in the vehicle at one time. But this is what I was talking about, like with the doors, it's got the push opening. So we have it like this. Um, I got a glass shelf for the insert. You can't really tell, can you? Yeah, you can see my finger through it. Uh, instead of the wood, and then VCR and the um, Apple TV. Now this is smoked glass. See, you can see my, my hand through it. See my hand through it here. But when you close it, I mean, it's, it's pretty dark. So that's great. But the remotes work through this. You do not have to open it. I really like that. Now these are going to be high gloss. I still have the coating on them, but I'll show you. I actually took the coating off of, this has the coating on it too. You can see the difference. See, you can see me in it. So I just want to make sure we have like everything adjusted um, and everything before we take all the protective coating off. And for these pieces, I also got the glass tops for both of these. So, you know, that's a separate thing. Otherwise, it would look like, you know, this, this wood finish. So the glass taps also. So it will all be very glossy. I showed you the white, I just have a Lego in my hand, um, the white glossy furniture. And we'll put that together and I'll show you. And then that's going to be by our door entry, well, just in our entry area. So I'll show you what that looks like. I'm excited to see that put together. Like, there's one that stands alone, but then there's a leg that, like, links this side to this. It, like, goes in between, and that's how it stays butted up together. Okay, anyway, I walked out of the room and literally came back to this. The man is feeling motivated. So, I'm going to open up this, like, box of tricks here. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so... Okay, so this is too many pieces. I'm going to work on... Um, the other part that goes with this and help him build this. light bulbs are too bright. That is not what I'm looking for. Okay, excuse the professional recorder player in the background. I'm going to take this blue film off so we can see the white lacquer. Okay, so, so far, this is what we've got. I got these orchids at um, Ikea and this, these pots to put them in. And they're all like faced this way, but I knew I wanted one on this side that was faced the opposite. And so, I just bent it. So I think it looks good. And then these orb lamps. And then I just moved these from the kitchen. Just little tea lights. Um, to go in here. I don't know if this will change. I mean, even if I had the most well thought out design ever. Like, I usually change things around. See, here's the full scope for the entry table. What do you think? I like it. Now we need to put together what's going there. So I need to move all that to recycling. Is he dead? Yeah. 
I still need to get dimmer bulbs for those because they're too bright. But in here, this is the dish I was telling you about. Now the light, we did not put together yet because we have to wait till daylight. It just got too late to be able to turn the electric off and see what we're doing to connect this. Um, so, let me take you in here. So today, this is what he built. I wonder if I turn this light up higher, if it would actually make this more viewable. Um, I'll get closer to show you since these are I'm giving off such a glare. I mean, that's what they look like in person. They're a 25 watt bulb in there and it still is just, I mean, as you can see, it's too bright. It's just supposed to be like an accent light. Um, this has with the uh, white glass top, did the push door, so. And I just have, you know, my candle stuff in here for right now. I haven't really taken the time to organize how I'm gonna have it set up. And then this is going to move onto a wall. I'm gonna have a mirror there. Put together this too. That will not be there. That metal piece that I've shown you several times, that's what's gonna go there. He put this together and we both like it but does it not look like a refrigerator? Like all I can see is refrigerator. So I don't know what to do about that because I love the storage space, like I already have it filled. But what do we do? So design fail on this end. We're kind of thinking about replacing this door. This is glossy, we have the glass on top, but just replacing this door with one that's the white with the smoked glass and then doing two glossy drawers here and then it would look less like we have a refrigerator in our living room. The entryway, all white lacquer and then into this room all of the black and the black lacquer. So we have, you know, the, let me turn this back down. Okay, um, the black lamps, which we really like, that are dimmable. The chairs, you know, they're really comfortable. We have this. I took the coating off, so it's just black lacquer now. And these are, these are the push drawers. So, blankets in there. And mirror between the windows. And then this uh, media console, which we really like. We have several components still to add to it. And then this carpet we really like. It's very comfortable. Waiting for a new couch. This is our old couch. And this will go into, we're making entertainment room, sort of set up for our girls downstairs. So that will go downstairs with them. So let me give you a quick pan and nothing on the walls yet. We still have to have all that printed. So 